Hi, I'm Paul Avery. I'm a product training engineer with the SCALS Technical Training Services. This video shows the system requirements, installation, and connection methods for DriveWizard HVAC. There will also be some practical tips and tricks thrown into the mix regarding these topics. DriveWizard HVAC is a very powerful support tool, but it doesn't need a supercomputer to run it. It is a Windows-based software, so it will need either the Windows 7 or Windows 10 operating system. That means no Mac OS, and you probably won't be able to run it on your old Commodore 64. The rest of the requirements are fairly minimal, such as 2 gigs of RAM and a minimum screen resolution of at least 1024 by 768. Installation is pretty straightforward. However, if you do run into any issues during installation, try installing the software as an administrator by right-clicking on the install file and choosing Run as Administrator. This should resolve most installation problems. Once the program is installed, open it and select the Drive Selection and Communication Setup button. A window will open displaying the different connection methods. Let's start with the USB connection. All Z1000 drives have a USB port built into the front of the drive. Any standard Type A to B USB cable will work as a connection to DriveWizard HVAC. Most people think of USB as always being a plug and play type of connection. The trick is that you need to install the Iskawa USB driver to properly connect. The driver itself is located in the DriveWizard HVAC folder. You just need to tell Windows where to find it, which we will do next. To manually install the USB driver, first physically connect to the drive using your USB cable. We will then need to open the Windows Device Manager. One way to get there is to right click on Computer and click Manage. Click Device Manager on the left pane and then locate the drive. It is usually under Other Devices and named Cosmos Series Inverter. If you do not see it listed that way, try cycling power to the drive. See that little yellow warning symbol? That means the driver is not installed. Right click the device and click Update Driver Software. Browse your computer to the driver and point Windows to this folder. Once the driver is set up, you can connect to your drive. When you are connected via USB, you will get a green check mark next to the USB connection option. It is good practice to use the test button to verify communication is there. The drive information shown next to the connection box, such as the drive series, software version, model number, and control method, are at default values until you go online with the drive or hit the scan drive button. The Scan Drive button will automatically populate this information with which drive you are currently connected to. So even if, for example, you think you have an E7 drive and you select it from the drop-down menu, DriveWizard HVAC will automatically correct your selection to match the detected drive. Before we go online with the drive using USB, let's go over the other connection methods which are available. Another popular connection used is a serial connection. A serial cable consists of a DB9 connector on one side and an RJ45 type on the other. This cable can be purchased from Yaskawa using part number UWR01076-1. Since most newer PCs do not have a serial connection, a third-party USB to serial adapter is commonly used. The driver for this adapter must also be installed. The procedure is very similar to the direct USB cable driver but it uses the manufacturer of the adapter's driver instead. When connecting the serial cable, you must remove the keypad to access the RJ45 port of the drive or unplug the keypad cable from a bypass port. Connect the other end to your adapter, which is connected to your PC. When using a serial cable, you must tell DriveWizard HVAC which COM port your serial to USB adapter is using. To determine this, Check the ports entry of the Windows Device Manager. Once you find the port number, go to the DriveWizard Communication Setup tab and use the drop-down menu to select the correct port. If you do not want to use this device manager, you can always take the long road by trying each port individually and scanning for the drive each time until it works.
DryWizard HVAC's Ethernet connection protocol supports Ethernet IP and Modbus TCP IP. This method requires either the SIEN3 or EN3D Ethernet IP option card or the SIEM3 or EM3D Modbus TCP IP option card to be installed for the 1000 series inverters. It is important to mention here that despite the temptation, never plug a network cable directly from the drive's keypad port directly to your computer's network port. You will damage your computer's network card and it will need to be replaced. By selecting the Ethernet radio button and clicking on the default IP address, you will be able to select which IP address DriveWizard will use to connect to the drive. Physical connection is a CAT5 cable between the option board's RJ45 jack and the network connection on your PC, which is okay in this case and won't damage your network card. Please make sure your PC's IP address is set up for the same subnet or you won't be able to communicate with the drive. The final connection option for DriveWizard HVAC is the Y stick. The Y stick allows the drive to connect to the USB port on a PC much like the USB serial adapter we mentioned previously. As an added bonus, when not being used as a serial to USB pass through, the Y stick can also read, copy, and verify drive parameter settings from one drive to another similar drive. If the Y stick is used, it is necessary to install a driver from Yaskawa. The driver installation procedure is the same as the installation for the USB Type AB cable. The difference is the driver itself. The driver is available on Yaskawa.com and is named SP1824 underscore 001. Tell DriveWizard HVAC that you are using a Y stick by selecting the proper radio button at the communication setup window. If you have any questions about the information presented in this e-learning module, please feel free to contact Yaskawa's technical support group either by phone, email, or via our website. Thank you.